As you may be aware, NTSA, in collaboration with various government agencies, has been undertaking a rapid results initiative on the road to enforce on the road traffic enforcement to increase compliance with the provision of the Traffic Act and PSV regulations. The operation was meant to target all forms of non-compliance to Traffic uh, Act and relevant regulations of modes of transport. Incidentally, the exercise seems to have targeted PSV mode of transport in Nairobi more than other modes and other vehicles anywhere else. However, we protest and condemn the manner in which NTSA and traffic police officers are executing this otherwise noble road safety compliance audit that is cracked down in the PSV transport industry. The audit has turned out to be an exercise where NTSA and police officers coerce, intimidate, and forcefully demand bribes of between 5,000 and 20,000 for flimsy defects and imagined and rolly worthiness status of PSVs. This is a money minting operation. This outrageous exercise, now running into the fourth week, is a total ripoff of PSV investors' hard earned money. During this exercise, PSV transport sector estimates that it has lost more than 500 million to NTSA and traffic police officers. All this is being done against the backdrop of effects of COVID-19 pandemic on passenger transport industry where the sector, like where sectors like airlines have been receiving billions of shillings from government as economic stimulus, whilst the PSV industry, which equally lost colossal sums of money, has received nothing. Instead of the multi-agency team helping the public transport SME sector to recover, it is instead being targeted to raise revenue for government and enrich NTSA and traffic police officers. All in all, our cries and complaints have not been, have been ignored, thus leaving us with no option other than withdraw our vehicles to ensure compliance is done fairly and that there is no extortion. We demand that the government intervenes in this matter and stops its officials from harassing and extorting money from our members forthwith. Failure to which we shall call on our PSV operators in the country to slow down operation, withdraw their vehicles from the road with effect from Wednesday, 16th March. On 16th, we'll ask our vehicles to come on the road, but all our vehicles will drive at snail speed to show our dissatisfaction, and I ask all the industry players to comply.